While it's important to be able to classify a number, it's just as important to be able to place a number on a number line. So a real number line looks like this, and it extends to as far this way as it can go and as far this way as it can go. And what we care about here is that there's everything to the left is smaller than what's to the right. So 0 is to the left of 1 because it's smaller than 1, and vice versa, 2 is to the right of 1 because it's bigger than 1. So we can know which way this goes, and we generally show arrows to show that this extends on towards negative infinity is the smallest possible number, and positive infinity is the largest possible number. And so what we're going to do right now is place some numbers on here. So we're going to start with negative 3. We're going to take that negative 3, and we're going to put a dot at negative 3, and this says, hey, I have a point at negative 3. We could also do 2 fifths. Well, 2 fifths is less than 1. In fact, if we were to break this up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 even pieces, 2 fifths would be right there. So there's our 2 fifths, just like there's our negative 3. Well, sometimes we get numbers that are in radical form, like the square root of 5. And so if we bring up a calculator, for reasons that I'll get into later, we can do 5 to the 1 half power. That's how we take a square root on this particular computer embedded 1. And that's 2.236. So that's approximately 2.236. Remember, it keeps going, never stopping, never repeating. So 2.236 is a little bit less than a fourth. So if we cut this into four pieces, it's about right there. And so that's about where our square root of 5 is. And so being able to know where these numbers are and approximately where they belong becomes a very, very, very important skill. So make sure you're able to place these numbers on the number line. It helps most if you can get it into decimal format or into fraction format to do that. So don't be afraid to use your calculators to estimate numbers.